guys, I'm back today with look number three in our fall series, and tonight is a date night look. Now, to me, when I think of date night looks, I think of great smoky eyes. So today I did a blue and taupe smoky eye, and I'm using my new Urban Decay Smoked Palette, and I love this palette. So these are the two shades that I'm using. So if you guys want to know how I got this look, then keep on watching. All right, guys. So what I'm going to start with, of course, is foundation. And I'm using the Makeup Forever HD foundation today. And this is a full coverage foundation. Just take the time to blend it well. Now, of course, I'm going to come in and put some bronzer all over my face. Try to get a little bit of color. And don't worry, guys. I have listed all the products that I'm using down below. I will take the same shade and contour. I'm going to contour on my cheeks, underneath the chin, and a little bit on my temples. Now, the blush that I'm using today is Gingerly from MAC. And I love, this is a newer blush I have, and this just melts in with the bronzer and the contouring I've just done. It's a really nice nude shade. And now, on, oh wait, I almost forgot my eyebrows. Now since I'm doing this kind of like a get ready with me for you guys, I'm showing you guys all the steps. So I'm just going to create a little bit more definition in my brows, making sure I fill out all of the areas. Now it's time for the eyes. And I'm going to use my Smoked Palette from Urban Decay. I'm going to be using two of the shades today. Mushroom, that is a taupe shade, and Evidence, that is a great jewel tone blue. Yes, I'm loving this palette. <laughs> Now, first we're going to start with our primer, and we're using today the Primer Potion from Urban Decay. I'm putting it on top and underneath, because we're going to smoke out not only on top of the lid, but underneath as well. So let's start with Mushroom, and let's place that all on top of the main lid. We're going to go up to the crease and a little bit more but that's it we're not gonna start smoking it out right away just make sure that you pack it on very well now we're going to take kinky and freestyle damn I love these names <laughs> and we're just gonna put it all over the rest of the area of our lid going all the way up to the brow bone I've actually mixed both colors today Now I'm going to take a liner, and I love this shade, it's called Sapphire, it's a bright blue, it's a, actually a bright royal blue I should say, I'm going underneath the waterline, and then I will go in the waterline after, now a great tip guys, is to always take a brush and to smudge that out, that'll help the liner stay in place, once you're done with that, then just put it inside the waterline, after you've blinked a few times, that will transfer on your top waterline as well. Now to make this blue pop even more, we're going to take our shade here from Urban Decay Evidence and let's go underneath the eyes. Make sure you put that everywhere. Making sure you're going, you're touching the waterline area as well to make sure there's no areas that you can see skin now we're going to start smoking it out you're going to be doing a side c shape you're not going to cover the taupe shade you're going to go on top with this step just take your time and keep going over and over again i find that a pencil brush helps you get in control of doing this properly now one important step is to just to keep blending until you get the shape that you're looking for now i just wet my brush a little bit and i'm putting in some of that taupe shade again 
Um, by wetting my brush, what I've done is I've made sure that it's going to be a little bit more of a metallic look to it. Now, I say that you should smoke it out as much as you want on the side underneath. Just follow the shape of your eye. I'm going to bring a little brightness back into my eye by putting that inside the inner corner. Then I'm actually going to take a pigment and put that over. I'm going to do that with my fingers just by pressing it in. And that should stay in place all night. And there's actually a little dual chrome in that pigment. So it'll look really good when it hits the light. We're almost done with the eyes. Now we're going to clean up the area and brighten it as well. As you can see, you see blue, taupe, then blue. Now it's time to curl our lashes. And I'm going to use two mascaras today. One by one from Maybelline and then Smoky Lash by Makeup Forever. Another tip, guys, is if you have lashes like mine that don't like to stay curled, use one of your mascaras as a waterproof one. And I've done that with the one by one today. And then Smoky Lash as well, not only lengthens and volumes, but it does help curl stay as well. Put as much mascara as you want. And then if you want fake lashes, I'm not putting on any today. And then don't forget to put mascara on your bottom lashes. And here you go. Our, well, our first eye is done. And now we're going to basically do the same thing on the other side. Magically we're done and we're on to the lips. We're going to keep the lips pretty nude today because we have smoky eyes. So first I'm taking a very pale shade here from NARS. Not only going around the lips but filling it in completely. Then I'm going to take another pencil liner. This one is from MAC. I'm going to go around. It's a little bit of a darker shade just helping us create definition. And this will help your nude lipstick stay on for a long time. And it's one of my favorite nude shades here from MAC. It's Viva Glam 2. Now, I wanted something a little glossy, so I'm going to put a lip gloss on top. Pretty much the same shade, but in lip gloss form. And guys, this is pretty much the look. Now, since it is a date night, put on some jewelry, whatever outfit you want, accessorize. I think I'm going to put on a scarf. And don't forget to check out Tracy's matching outfit of the day for this look. And you'll see she's wearing some blue as well, so it'll match up. Thanks again for watching, guys. Peace.